Want to be my room? Yes. Question. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and. Um, yes, go ahead, Dick. You said the range was 25 to 35. Was there a range on T Bird or was it just a fixed amount? T Bird had a fixed amount on the first uh, phase, the bid phase of the packet of the. Uh, uh, project and they also had a fixed on the um, inspection for the construction uh, obviously their construction was uh, quite a bit higher than Butler Fairman and Seifert and their 
um, proposal for the bid related phase was right in the towards the higher end, I think, of, the, of what uh, the FNS uh, came in at with their range. I move we accept the BFNS proposal. I second. <clears throat> Is there any further discussion? What's the time frame on this project? We have to be, uh, actually, we have to have the, uh, the contract uh, to the to the state to end the by April 8th. So it has to be under contract that date. Um, and the construction would start sometime after that, depending on who is awarded the contract. Is that correct, Aaron? You have anything to add to that? No, that is correct. And that's for the letting. So what we are, what we have now is a, um, the proposals are for the, the, creating the bid package and um, going to advertisement for the bids and then the bid opening and award of contract phase. It has to be awarded, awarded by April 1st or? It has to be okay. under contract by April 1st or okay. by April 8th. Okay. As do the other uh, community crossings matching grant uh, programs that we uh, were awarded, uh, so they all need to be under contract. But the others are things like micro seal and crack sealing. And uh, while we will have bids on those, uh, this is the more expensive and complicated of the projects. And it is, it is a fairly complex um, project because of the um, situation with the curbs and, and uh, um, and sidewalks that tie into the street project and there also are um, storm drain or two along the way so it uh, is uh, not exactly a well let's put it this way neither one of us felt comfortable in preparing bid documents on this project correct Aaron that is correct yeah this is this is going to be a fairly complicated uh, scope Any further discussion? I have none. We'll call for the question. Dick Bradshaw? Aye. Cameron Yates? Aye. And I am an aye. And the, um, the last item um, under due business is a request from Sam Dywart for water usage adjustment for a leak that went undetected. Uh, due in large part to system problems. Uh, the meter alert system, which we have installed, um, failed to notify the water department. And then upon review and inspection, it was found that uh, the, the uh, alert system for, for that meter area was um, incorrectly set at 75 gallons per minute rather than 7.5 gallons per minute. So, um, Mr. Dywart was billed for $419.33. His bill would um, have would have been $48.65 when we pressed approval to make the adjustment of $390.45. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. It's our fault, right? I mean, all of it's our fault. Correct. Um, the um, the culprit was a, uh, I think a bathroom on the second floor that they do not use. And so they were not aware that it was running and, um, had the alert system been working, uh, it would have been a quick notification and they could have detected where, where the problem was. If, if, if we're a hundred percent culpable, I would say. Uh, I move that we negate that 390 or whatever you said it was. The adjustment would be $390.45. 
Uh, so we so have moved. A, we have a, a motion, and is there a second? A second. And any further discussion? Leanne, did you wish to add anything? No, not really. Um, we have the the alarm system, which obviously defaulted back to that 75 gallons per minute. But um, the other reason I feel that we're liable for this is we have the ability in this office to print a report every day, and if there's a large usage, it shows up on that report. Um, and that report is supposed to be run every day, but it just doesn't happen. So um, it will from now on, but it hasn't been happening. So in this particular case, um, he was out of town with no one checking on his house. So we had a three-part system that should have taken care of it, and it didn't. Even if he had someone checking on his house, it's unlikely they would have gone up to the third floor and checked the toilet. Yes, yes that's correct. Probably so. And it, and it doesn't change the fact that we have three different points to catch it, and we didn't. Any further discussion? We're ready for the vote then. Dick Bradshaw? Aye. Cameron Yates? Aye. And I'm an aye. Motion carries. Is there, uh, are there any board comments or requests? So Aaron, with you here on the screen, um, kudos again to you and your crews for the uh, pretty yeoman-like uh, clearing the streets during these past storms. Thank you. I'd like to second that, Aaron. Thank you, Mr. Bradshaw. Hopefully had, that's the end of it. We've had a lot of, <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's hope it's yeah. the end of it. We've had a very, we've had a lot of comments uh, from the public and uh, uh, about uh, um, the work that was done. So we greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Dick, do you have any comments? No, I'm just wondering what kind of a mess we're gonna have on the uh, spots downtown where we've got snow piled up, you know, when it all melts, who knows what's in there. <laughs> you think there are any cars in there? Is that what you're worried about? <laughs> when I was in Chicago, uh, we had 44 inches of snow and they piled it up and some of the lots, oh, two stories high, I mean, it's huge. It was June before some of that melted and there were tricycles in there and it was unbelievable the stuff that was in there. Well, if you want to see, go down to the annex this spring. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where it all ended up. Yeah. Cameron, do you yeah. have anything? I don't. Clerk to Treasurer Aldrich? No, I don't. Any public comments? Uh, so, Debbie, I understand. I, I thought I saw you on earlier. Did you? You must have popped out, and I didn't see you in the waiting room. So I apologize for not getting you back in right away. Uh, the first uh, order of business was approving a uh, change order for the Delphi Capital Drinking Water Improvement Project to move funds from Phase One to Phase Two, and that motion did did pass. You were on and then things went awful. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so um, if you need, uh, I think the figures on that um, were in the documentation that was provided, but if you have any questions on that, uh, let me know, Debbie. Okay, is there uh, a motion to adjourn? Before you do that, is there, our next regular meeting is March 1st? That's correct. Okay. And um, if you are all uh, okay with it, I think we will go um, to a live meeting at, back at the community center with masks. Uh, there will be a virtual option for that and also for the council meeting uh, if, uh, if anyone would still rather attend uh, remotely. Are you all right with that? I'm fine with that. I'm excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. 
I think our numbers are low enough now that uh, we can safely do that. And with social distancing, we will be fine. Some of us have already had it, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and Debbie, I did see your note, and, and um, I will certainly make sure that you get that um, for both the Board of Works and the Council meetings. Okay, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Um, so without objection, the Board of Public Works and Safety is adjourned at 5.30 p.m. Thank you very much for uh, for this for attending the special called meeting and for allowing us to get this, uh, particularly the community crossings project underway here. here. Uh, we have such a tight timeline. Uh, so, um, Aaron, do you want to let uh, Butler Fairman and Seifert uh, know? Um, I told uh, told you know the the parties that we would get back in touch with them uh, as soon as we could. I'll let both parties know in the morning. Very good. Okay, thank you very much, and have a great evening, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.